Thompson. Hi there, welcome to Sports Watch. A couple of stories for you. We'll be meeting a young hockey player from Bridgewater, Glenn Murray, who should go in the first round of the upcoming NHL draft. But first, a story on the Pinckney brothers, Phil and Dave. The Pinckney name is synonymous with harness racing here in Nova Scotia, and it looks like it's going to stay that way for years to come. This race is called the Maiden Race. It's for horses who have never won before. The driving two of these losers are two of the best drivers around. Brothers Phil and Dave Pinckney have been around horses all their lives. Gets in your blood like all the other sports, I guess. Eh? They are each other's confidants, yet once on the track with both money and pride on the line, they become each other's competition. They have raced against each other hundreds of times before. Dave, he's he's pretty good. He's a lot better than I am. He's got, well, Dave's got around 3,000 wins now, and uh, he's that's pretty good for for this part of the country, and uh, so he's got twice as many, so he must be two, twice as good as I am, I guess. <laughs> Phil's the best, yeah. Is he really? I'm just tagging along behind. A good horse can, can make a good driver. If you're driving, got some good horses to drive, they can make you look awful good. But sometimes you get a bunch of poor ones to drive, you don't look quite as good. Yeah. When it comes to racing, though, the Pinckneys are used to looking good. The Pinckney's father was a horseman. That's where Dave learned all about shoeing horses. We used to have uh, work horses and used to shoe them work horses. And used to help them shoe them big fours. That's what they make glue out of. It's a rewarding job at times. A lot of times there's a lot of downs. But you got to take them with the ups too, I guess. Phil Pinckney spends less time racing these days and more time at his farm training colts for American owners. We train mostly uh, yearlings and two-year-olds and young horses here and we develop them and a lot of American bred horses for horses, uh, people that's owned away and, uh, and if they turn out good enough they'll go away and race in the States. That's the Yankee of Voyager. He's one of our better two-year-olds we're, we're training this year. He's owned, o he's owned over in the island, Cardigan. Yeah. Racing tonight? No, he's not racing tonight, he's just a two-year-old. This, uh, this filly in here uh, uh, races tonight, one of the fillies. She's all watered, I guess, isn't she? She's, uh, she's got to give her her supper there. She's all ready to go, aren't you, huh? Alice, Al Alice Revenoak, her name is. She's in... Little. She's small, filly, yeah, yeah. She, uh... We had a half-sister to her here a year ago, and she was small in her again, but we sold her up in Montreal. She... Couldn't go fast enough. And going fast is what makes or breaks you in this sport. In this race, Phil was a shade faster than Brother Dave, and so the debate continues. I told you he was best. Now, what do you think? <laughs> well, I got a lot of catching up to do, so he's 1,500 races ahead of me. He better let... <laughs> I better win a lot, hadn't I, to catch up to that? By the way, the Pinckney sons have followed in their father's footsteps. That means we'll hear the name Pinckney associated with harness racing for years to come.